Hello, everyone. My name is Jianan Li, and I'm glad to share with you our work Root Tapestries, navigating 360 virtual tour videos using sleep scan visualizations. This is a joint effort between myself and my collaborators Jia He Lü, Mauricio Sosa, Ravan Balakrishnan, Anthony Tan, and Toby Grossman. All of us are from the University of Toronto. Many of us wonder if we can go to remote places without physically traveling, just like I opened this store and I'm in an izakaya in Abitsu, Tokyo. One increasingly popular way to do this is through 360 virtual tour videos, which shows the surrounding view of a 360 camera while it moves through an environment. Such videos can also be useful for virtual campus tours or families making travel plans. However, the current desktop interfaces for navigating such videos are based on the designs for normal field of view videos and do not necessarily fit 360 content. For example, if I want to find this coffee shop with a quite distinct look in a Tokyo virtual tour video, it might take me some time using the previews on the current YouTube interface. The previews shown here are generated through equirectangular projection and it creates some low level of visual distortion because it projects a spherical video frame to a rectangular video frame on a plane. To facilitate the navigation of 360 virtual tour videos, we propose using root tapestries. Root tapestries are strip-shaped video previews showing continuously captured scenes along the camera route. In the root tapestry previews, the target coffee shop is readily visible without much visual distortion, and the viewer can find it relatively easily. Let's use one more example to detail the experience of using root tapestries for navigating 360 virtual tour videos. Let's say we want to find the moment where I can see the entrance to the Louvre Museum in a virtual tour video in Paris. When my cursor hovers on the timeline, two root tapestry previews are displayed above the cursor. The top and bottom tapestries shows the things on the left and right side of the camera path. A short yellow bar marks the exact location of my cursor on the tapestry. When I click on one of the tapestries, the video playback jumps to the moment where the camera passes by the thing I just clicked on, and the camera automatically reorients itself towards that thing. Here, I'm able to find the moment in the video where I see the Louvre entrance. Finally, we see the example of finding a foot bar in a campus tour video. Overall, our root tapestry approach is based on the observation that there are clear, there are clear largely continuous boundary along the camera path in a large number of virtual tour videos. We design a method for automatically generating root tapestries using the slit scan imaging technique. More specifically, we estimate the camera path and the environment boundaries using simultaneous localization and mapping. We then join slices of pixels from each part of the boundaries together to form root tapestries. A video player using root tapestries can operate in both the spatial and the temporal mode. In the spatial mode, the tapestries for the left and right side of the camera pass always move at the same pace. In the temporal mode, the two tapestries are always synchronized in video playback time at the cursor position, but they may move at different paces. Here we see an example of a root tapestry timeline in the temporal mode. Note the two tapestries move at different speed because the scene on the left and right sides are at different distances from the camera. Also, the tapestries move very slowly when the camera comes to a stop. We have considered a number of alternative navigation methods when designing root tapestries, including equirectangular previews as used in the YouTube interface. Little Planet previews as used in prior research on 360 video editing, and normal field view thumbnails showing the left and right side of the camera path. Our pilot study has found that Little Planet and normal field view thumbnails 
do not appear to provide sufficient support for navigating virtual tour videos. We also consider two rows of normal field view thumbnails. This design is a visually discrete alternative to root tapestries. Rows of thumbnails have been used in commercial video editing softwares as timeline previews. We call this technique normal field view strips. To evaluate the performance of root tapestries for 360 virtual tour video navigation, we conducted a user study which compared root tapestries with two baselines that have shown some promises. These two baselines are accurate rectangular previews and normal field view strips. In the study, the, particip the participants used the three interfaces to find target buildings given to them in three virtual tour videos. Note for clarity, we are showing the same video with different interfaces being used. However, in the actual study, we used the three different but comparable videos for the three interfaces. We measure the participants' test completion time and failure rate. The results show that when using root tapestries, the participants missed 75% fewer targets than normal field view strips, and they were able to complete the task 22% faster than accurate rectangular previews. Our results highlight the benefit of reducing visual distortion and maintaining visual continuity for navigating 360 virtual tour videos. Our future work plans to explore root tapestries for navigating a wider range of 360 videos. For example, we want to explore tapestries consisting of multiple layers where objects at different distances from camera can move at different paces, like the parallax, parallax scrolling effect in video games. We are also interested in adapting root tapestries for head-mounted display uses, for example, placing root tapestries in a circle around surrounding the user. To sum up, root, tap root tapestries are continuous content previews for 360 virtual tour videos. They can improve navigation performance as they have less visual distortion and maintains visual continuity. Root tapestries can be automatically generated from 360 virtual tour videos, and our paper presents more technical details. Finally, I would like to thank you for your interest in this talk and thank my collaborators and funding agency. If you are interested in more details or more discussions, feel free to ask me in the upcoming Q&A or drop us, drop us an email at the address shown in the slide. Thank you very much.